<laughs> now, Huffington Post, yesterday I said you guys were in the running for Cocksucker of the Day Award. How can you guys not understand humor? Oh, it's okay for Stephen Colbert to give dry humor, right? It's okay. It's okay for David Letterman to give humor. Hi, Gene. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. What's happening? The the they walked in on me. They're 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 surrounding me, y'all. The guy, the boys are surrounding me. <laughs> Everyone is tuned in to suck my... First of all, if you don't fuck with me, can you please not listen? I just want to talk to my babies, my fans, the people who love me and who made me. I just want to talk to my babies. That's all. Now, it's a lot of y'all that's listening to Queen Radio claiming y'all don't like the Queen. Then why y'all listening? Stop posting me on your blogs. I'm an icon. There's nothing you can do to erase me. I'll never go anywhere. I rise to the fucking top. I am the best female rapper of all time. Now, who want to suck my pussy? Ooh. Ooh. Where I am is because of my gratitude. It's because of my gratefulness. I hate ungrateful people. And I never am ungrateful. So... So you said, oh, she didn't care. She didn't have a problem before if when her album went number two. And that, and I'm glad you said that. It's because of how it went number mm -hmm. two. And if this happened to your, your show, or if this happened to anyone in their life when you know you've bust your ass for something and someone comes and start, sells a tour pass that has nothing to do with his fucking music and says that he sold more than... uh. Nicki Minaj and J&B and, and Kanye West and, 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 and Nas. No, the fuck you didn't, my nigga. Keep it the fuck real. That's all I'm saying. Keep it the fuck real. I've never cared about if I'm number two. I know I'm that bitch. I know I'm number one. I know I'm number one. I know no one can touch my skill as an MC, as a lyricist, period. And I'm not talking about women. That's the other thing. Everything I say, they try to, th they make it to seem like I'm dissing a woman. No, I'm, I'm speaking in general about all MCs. A lot of y'all got hot records out, but y'all are not MCs. And I, I bump a lot of these records and I'm pretty sure you guys don't, may not like me either. And you guys don't have to like me, but I, I, but I, I definitely support it all. I definitely respect it all, mm -hmm. but I also know what, what I do. They put the bamboo earrings on. I can't. No, they put the bamboo. Oh, they put the bamboo earrings and the was, buns. That was quick. On Harriet, y'all, y'all gave her the door knockers, my nigga. Like for real, y'all. Come on, y'all. Glam squad is for real. <laughs> um. So, so I, you know, what I realize is that whether I speak up for myself, whether I'm silent, if I'm nice, if I cry, if I'm angry, they have something to say about me, regardless. No matter what. So now it's time to just speak truth. And if anyone doesn't like it, suck. Okay. All right. And that's that. Now, my supporters and fans know, they know how appreciative I am. If you ask my fans how I treat them, you will understand the difference between genuine and fraudulent. Uh -uh. Never seen somebody, any artist, treat that. First of all, I've never seen an artist know individual fans like this. Absolutely. Ever. No, Nikki knows her fans, yo. Yo, boo. I know. No. I seen it. No, like they come up like, like, oh, this is this is John. This is Peep. This is, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is I going on? She says, I, I follow you. And I think, <laughs> and I think that's why, Nikki, at the end of the day, it's fans. And real people that fuck with you, no matter what. That's why you're positioning you're in right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, you know, but it's because it's of the way I treat them. You know, some people treat their fans like, okay, I like you, you know, when it's convenient. Yeah. I'm sorry. I treat my fans the same all the time, no all matter what. Time. Whether I see one of them alone on the street. Now, sometimes, you know, if I'm late like I was today just now, some of them were waiting downstairs. They know I'm going to show them love when I come down, you know. But my fans know me. That's why you cannot tell them anything about me. Do, don't you guys realize you guys have tried to demonize me for years and it hasn't worked. 
I have the number one album in 86 countries because to God be the glory. Now I have the number one radio show because to God be the glory. Yeah. Do you understand? You have done nothing but brightened my star. Y'all have tried to take any Tom, Dick, and Harry to try to smear me with, try, but when it comes to it, my talent reigns supreme. Exactly. Those 18 different flows on each record and that and those different voices and those and being able to produce and write and to do it all on my fucking own. Shout out to Juice, my amazing engineer. Juice. Juice Key. You guys have never seen it. You don't you didn't want to see it. You didn't want to see me do that. But to God be the glory. Now I'm gonna take y'all to church today. Shout out to Tasha Cops. Hit them with majesty real quick. Let me uh Get right. Nigga, I said hit him with ma mother Motherfucker, you better have my shit on cop pause. Better to talk about. Something better to talk about. Huffington Post says the internet is... Twitter is outraged at Nicki Minaj comparing herself to Harriet Tubman. <laughs> oh, what? my God. I could not... Stop cracking up laughing to the point where Sheikah could not finish doing my makeup because I was crying. Real tears were coming out my eyes from laughing because I was like, yo, is this a joke? You guys, you guys have band together. They've spent millions of dollars to erase me. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. Not happening. Uh, 